Gary Wade is plugged in the community. Uh, let's just take an example. Friends of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Uh, uh, Gary really, by himself, built that into the organization it is today. And uh, uh, they were telling me a few weeks ago that the friends have been in existence, you might say. He started it 16 years ago. They have given $33 million to the, to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Uh, that, that represents uh, uh, his passion, his energy, and it's a remarkable feat. Gary, Vick and I are awful proud of you and all that you've done uh, for all these many, many years, and particularly for this scouting award. It's a well-deserved honor, and, and we're honored to have a chance to be on this video and, and talk about our friendship and our relationship and how we've watched our children grow up together and the hours that we've spent, you know, on the water uh, around Emmerich's Cove or somewhere hiking in the, in the, in the Smokies and and uh, the friendship and the relationship that has grown and, and we're just proud to be your friend and congratulations on this award. And, and Gary, I'd like to say that I've been so honored to be able to serve on the Friends of the Smokies board with you and you have just exemplified everything that this award stands for. You're trustworthy, you're loyal, you're adventurous. Um, we've had a lot of fun hiking together and in recent years, they've gotten a little tougher, haven't they, Gary? <laughs> Although uh, you became mayor about the time I did, of course, you were a lot older than I am. And uh, awards like this, um, they start coming as you age uh, and get to, especially to as old as you are, they'll come more and more often. And, and, and I understand that. And someday I look forward to getting there myself. But uh, I'm just glad that I'm doing this. And the first thing I wanted to know, if Gary Wade's involved, is it going to cost me anything? And somewhere uh, on this night, I predict that it'll cost me something. Because Gary, even though I love you, every time I've ever dealt with you, I've either had to do something or it's cost me something. And I understand that and appreciate that. Uh, but you, you look back on, on what the man has done for this community and you think about the Civic Center, which is sitting next door to us here. Uh, or furthermore, you think about this particular building right here, who's obviously involved with that. Um, you think about Friends of the Smokies, and I, uh, you, you think about Leadership Severe. Those are the things that he's been involved in, and, and those are the things that he's passionate about. And obviously, he loves the mountains, and, and uh, the, with the friends, he's, he's done a tremendous job with them. And, and Sevier County, and you think about Leadership Severe and what it does uh, for Sevier County. And he, he's obviously involved in that, and was you know the, uh, one of the founders of, of that organization. And, and you know, those are the, uh, he has a tremendous love for Sevier County. And, and any time that he can talk about it, he'll obviously do that. Uh, that, that that's, uh, that's important to him. I had the pleasure of serving with Gary for uh, eight years as an alderman, as uh, he was the mayor until 1987. And uh, I'll never forget the, uh, the community center and the, the fun drive we did for that. Uh, here was a 34-year-old mayor and a 30-year-old alderman. Uh, telling the people we were going to raise a million dollars to build a community center, and uh, it got done. And the times back then weren't the best of times to be raising money, but uh, that was just the beginning of a legacy that uh, Justice Wade still has. Uh, he is not bashful to ask people for donations, so he was uh, he was very strong. He he put his time into it. Anything he goes into, he puts a lot of time into it, and he thinks about it. And he's, uh, he's of the opinion that uh, if you don't ask, you don't get. Long about the time he was elected mayor, that was when we had a recession. So Gary had his work cut out for him as to start raising all of this money through recessionary times. You just can't say enough good things about Gary Wade. Every good cause there is, 
if you ask Gary to get involved in it, he'll get involved in it. He loves scouts and he loves young people. And well, that's one reason he loves the mountains because he knows that we have to preserve the park from generation to generation so that uh, our great grandchildren will be able to enjoy the park and, ha and hike there and do all that, all those things. Among the many nice things you can say about Gary is he not only sees opportunities before their reality, but he also uh, follows them through to a successful completion. And the Friends of the Smokies is one of those organizations. In 1992, he and Tom Trotter were taking a hike up on the mountains and they went to Mount Cameron Fire Tower, found it in a state of decay and collapse. And they were very concerned because it's a very unusual structure. And they went back to talk to the superintendent, Randy Pope, and he. He said he didn't have any money to fix it, but he hoped they would start a friends group. And they said, what's a friends group? But obviously they learned pretty quickly what one is because the Friends of the Smokies has become one of the most successful friends groups in the national park system. And the foundation for that success is Gary's energy and enthusiasm and his tenacity. The organization has now raised over $33.5 million since 1993 and Gary's fingerprints are all over a lot of that. Everyone knows Gary has a way with words and, and can uh, uh, you know, influence people and make people feel good about themselves. Uh, but one of, the, one of the talents that he has that most people don't uh, realize is he can insult you and make you feel good about it at the same time. We were in a city council meeting one night and uh, toward the end of the meeting, one of the residents in town appeared before council and was talking about a drainage problem he had in his neighborhood. This guy lived in Pigeon River Estates and, and uh, actually worked for the city of Gatlinburg. And he came before city council and said he had a drainage problem and as Gary would do, he would, he said, well, we'll turn this over to the city administrator and have him look at it and re report back at our next meeting. Well, that just wasn't going to be good enough for this guy. He proceeded to tell us how they did things in Gatlinburg, and if this was in the city of Gatlinburg, they'd do this, and if it was in the city of Gatlinburg, they'd do that, and, and so forth and so on. And Gary said, well, that's, that's fine, he understood, but this was, this was severe when this is the way we did things, and, and uh, it just wasn't good enough for this guy, and he just kept going on and on and on. And uh, finally he got pretty exasperated with us and said, you know, if you can't do any better than that, I'm just going to sell my house and move to Gatlinburg. And Gary didn't bat an eye, looked straight at him and said, I think that's exactly what you should do. That would improve the quality of both communities. The guy said, you're darn right it would. So Gary can insult you and make you feel good about it. Uh, to this day, when I see his name on my caller ID, unless I've really got a little extra money in the bank, I don't answer the phone. Uh, because Gary's either found a, a new cause or uh, uh, just uh, here lately, it's been uh, it'd be a Sunday afternoon. He wants to ride around and show me library sites. Uh, uh, but anything Gary has ever done has been not for for himself, but for the betterment of the community, the city, the county. Uh, he just when he picks a project, his persistence is unbelievable. The people around here really looked at him as uh, they started running the other way for a while. But uh, but he he was persistent and uh, Gary is real, uh, real strong in his beliefs and he, he likes to see anything that would help the community, then Gary was right there to put his efforts, his time, and his work into it. Uh, I, I'm sure that no one in the room uh, uh, would understand that Gary is a competitor. There's not a competitive, well, actually there's not a competitive bone in his body. I'm sure that everyone knows that. He has been very, he's been a tremendous supporter of the whole Boy Scout movement. Uh, every year we have our Friends of Scouting dinner in Knoxville. He is always there. He always brings a good contingent from Sevier County. And the Boy Scouts are very, very strong in Sevier County. And, uh, you know, you could put your finger on a lot of reasons, but the biggest reason is Gary Wade. We go all the way back to high school. As we figured it out, we probably played basketball against each other. It tells you a lot that neither one of us remember the other, you know, very much because we, we obviously didn't make much impact in the ball games that we played. 
but you know, through those times, uh, you've been the type of person that uh, you look at and you say, "Hey, I'd love to to um, emulate and be like uh, be like this guy." And uh, you've done that. You've you've stepped out in the public in in many many ways, uh, and uh, and made an impact not only on your community of of Sevierville and in the area, but the state of Tennessee and and really a lot of people that reach across the world. So. Uh, thank you for the blessing again of being your friend, and Vicki and I certainly uh, look forward to sharing many, many more years with you, and God bless you and your family, and, and, and particularly thank you for, for this effort for the Scouts. You know, he, he's got a wisdom and a, and a, and a, and a, a vision that uh, a lot of people don't have, and uh, the city of Sevierville, Sevier County, the state of Tennessee is, is lucky to have uh, a person like Gary Wade, and I, when you talk about a distinguished citizen, uh, I can't think of anybody in, in, in this county that deserves it more than, than Gary Wade. Uh. In uh, my old business of broadcasting, they had a term called evergreen, which meant it was something that you could rely on to perform year after year, a show like Andy Griffith, or maybe a show like, uh, or a movie like Wizard of Oz. No matter how many times it runs, there's an audience for it, and it's successful. Well, I think when Gary uh, applies himself to something, it's going to be successful. You can count on it being done, and he is a true evergreen of the community. Uh, you have meant a great deal to the people of Sevier County. Every project, uh, or so many projects, I am. Uh, been a part of over my years uh, in, in office. Gary Wade has been a part of that project making the community a better place. Whether it's uh, the Friends of the Smokies, the Sevier County Library, or whatever that project. Uh, Gary, you've been a part of it and you've done it uh, because you love this county and love the people of this county. So I think it's appropriate tonight to honor you and to honor uh, what you have done for this county, and so I'm glad to be a small part of that. I think that you're my favorite Boy Scout, Gary, and I think that you exemplify what a true Boy Scout is, and I want to congratulate you on your award. You know, Gary stands for integrity, and Gary does the right thing, and that's what scouting's all about. And Gary exemplifies the great traditions of the Boy Scouts. Gary, congratulations on this award and, uh, and you're very deserving. Gary, congratulations. Uh, you're well deserving uh, and just hope you keep Sevier, Sevier County in your heart like you've done for many, many years. Thank you, Gary. Yeah, I'd have to say there's probably not any other individual in, in the county that has done more for the county. And I would certainly think that uh, uh, Justice Wade is certainly deserving of, of the award. And by the way, congratulations, Gary. Thank you. Gary, I want to add my congratulations to everyone in this room and on this tape for your recognition with the first annual Good Scout Award for Sevier County. No one is more deserving, and there's no scout I'd rather be on the trail with than you. Congratulations on this award, Gary. I can't think of anybody that deserves it more. All kidding aside, Gary, uh, as, as, as you well know, I, I, I treasure our friendship and the times we had together uh, very dearly. Uh, thank the world of you. Uh, and I really want to sincerely congratulate you on, on this initial uh, Sevier County Good Scout Award. Uh, well done and, and hope to see you soon. Uh, congratulations, Gary. You are very deserving of this award. You're my favorite Boy Scout, Gary. <laughs> congratulations, Gary. Gary, thank you not only for what you do for scouting, but what you do for our area, our state, and our country. You are remarkable. You have tremendous energy, and you have a passion for all these good causes. Thank you, Gary.